Hey everyone, welcome back to a Better Computer. My name is Matt, and I'm going to go super quickly through some of the new features added in Pixelmator Pro 2.1 that just came out this week. So the number one feature, as far as I'm concerned, is ML Crop, which uh, basically makes it so that you can take any photo. I've got one loaded up here. I can go to the Crop tool, and there's an ML Crop option here. I just tap that, and there we go. I have cropped it down in this image. That's a pretty good crop, I'd say. Uh, so it definitely works in this case. Uh, let's take a look at another photo. Here's a selfie I took. Uh, let's go to the crop tool again, ML crop. That one's not quite as good. I'd like it to be centered, but it's as simple as kind of dragging this around and recentering if I wanted. Uh, I'm going to leave that kind of as it is. Uh, this one, uh, is, you're going to see it be a little weird. Uh, so it actually thinks the car is part of it. So I hit ML crop. It tries to put the car in frame, fit that in there. Uh, again, not necessarily what I want. Um, so. It's not perfect, uh, but in some cases, like this one, I kind of took a wide shot, uh, but I don't think I need all of it. So I'm gonna go back to the crop tool, hit that, and boom, there we go. That is an improved, uh, you know, crop of the image. Uh, I should say this is also in Pixelmator Photo for the iPad, so it works there as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when this was added, but it is there right now and works exactly the same way. So great to see this come over to Pixelmator Pro on the desktop. Now, let me undo that crop real quick. And in this image, I want to add some text. And so I've got text here. Uh, this is the second change they've made. Uh, so they've improved the text editing functionality in the app. Uh, so if I go to the text controls, I can see all the normal stuff here, but the nicest thing that they've added is a size slider. So I can make this text bigger or smaller with a slider. Uh, previously, you had to use this uh, box to basically change the size manually it wasn't as nice as apps like Photoshop or Sketch or Figma that let you just kind of slide it around until you get exactly the size you want. That's really nice. Now additionally, uh, this brings us into our next point where I'm able to change the color of this text uh, with the color picker. So traditionally you can obviously just go to the color picker and we'll make it red. You can change it to whatever you'd like. Uh, but let's say you are, uh, we're gonna add a shape. Uh, so let me go down here to rectangle. And this is gonna be kind of weird, but let me just put a rectangle down here. There we go, size it up like that. And we're gonna set this color to uh, pink. Uh, while I'm here, I can actually drag this over to, if I want this to also be applied to my text, I can drag it there and now the text matches that. Or I could do blue, uh, which doesn't work at all there. So let me make it black. There we go, how about yellow? And you can just drag colors. Maybe that yellow is what I want down here as well. And so you can kind of drag things around. It's an interesting thing. I don't know if I am going to actually use this myself, but it's kind of a cool way to set colors for multiple items uh, rather than going to the color picker for each individual thing. Just while you have the color picker pulled up, you can drag things over to different elements. So that's kind of cool. And finally, I'm going to delete these layers for us right now, and I'm going to pull up the pen tool. So just hit P on the keyboard. I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna to go to the top. I'm gonna, let's see, arc that a little bit, go down here. There we go. So there's a path, and uh, let's see, we're not gonna do a fill for it. Uh, oops, no fill. So I just have a path here. And now one of the cool things I can do is I can go to B for brush, and then you'll see stroke with brush. And so I can add uh, the brush that I've got selected to that path, right? And so it's right there. I can change the brush size. Uh, I can change the softness of it. So whatever settings I have for this, there's advanced settings. <laughs> so I can actually do brush spacing to like make it a little more uh, scattered. Uh, I can go ahead and uh, change the angle of it. So this is gonna rotate the brush, like what angle was it done at? Uh, that's really, pretty cool. <laughs> uh, we can simulate pressure as well. Uh, so I can actually simulate uh, where along the path the most pressure was put on uh, the stroke, basically. Uh, so I can make it so it started on the left as heavy and then kind of eased up or it was heavy in the middle. Uh, that's all basically configurable uh, through this. And I can, of course, change it to different uh, different brushes. So I can make it a crayon. I can make it a coal um, style crayon. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, change the spacing. I can do that. Uh, let me make it bigger. That's really what I want. Um, and so I can change the color. So now it's green. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and well, I don't want to pull up the color picker, uh, but you can kind of get the idea of what's going on here. We'll make it purple, kind of like a kid just drew over that, right? So you can do that. And again, all of this is uh, just totally available. I made this uh, 
basically exactly right based on a pen stroke again so I can really accurately put a stroke in and then assign a brush to it so again if you have a use case for it that isn't just turning a rainbow into a purple crayon <laughs> I could definitely be useful for doing some more accurate brush strokes in the app but yeah those are the features in Pixelmator 2.1 uh, I'll leave a link in the description to Pixelmator's blog post about it. They also have a video tutorial that goes a little deeper into this brush uh, on a path thing. And so yeah, uh, some cool things in the app. It's a free update to everyone who has it. And I believe the app is also on sale right now, but check the link in the description to the Mac App Store where you can pick it up today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.